Hello, YouTubers. Somewhat of a serious video right now. You know, I'm getting so sick and tired of these um, OnlyFans sites that these women come up with. These women with these big, juicy booties. I'll say it. And big, juicy boobs. These big, muscled legs. These hot, attractive women that men want to lust after and crave and desire. And these women are like, oh, I have no problem and paying me to stare at my body and ogle me. And they tease these men. And they wouldn't give these men the time of day. In fact, you know, if like, like say if I were to like approach a woman like this and we're like, oh, this creep, this perv is harassing me, at least staring at my booty or my boobs or whatever. You know, ooh, I'm gonna call the cops. Ooh, he's not a, he's not a Chippendales male stripper or whatever, he doesn't have a whole lot, he doesn't drive a big car, you know, or whatever, it's just, it's, it's hypocrisy, and if these same women, they'll stare at a guy or whatever, you know, they do it, and it's like, oh, it's, it's perfectly fine, because, you know, women have a right to be sexually, you know, sexually promiscuous and empowered, because, you know, it's the old double standard or whatever, I don't hate women, I just hate the hypocrisy. But I'm glad there are women out there that don't play that hypocrisy game. You know, there are some that do and some that don't. It's like there are men that play hypocritical games and whatever. You know, and there's these guys that have this pump and dump mentality because of women like that. Well, isn't that reinforcing the negative stereotype that all men are dogs? That's what um, reciprocates this and and causes it to escalate. It's a vicious cycle, folks. You know, I'm sorry, no man or woman, I don't care how physically arousing they are, is worth throwing your money away on them. When you're, they, won't let, they would never let you have them in real life anyway, because they put themselves up on some kind of pedestal. You know? Like, oh, you can't have me, I'm sorry. And then the same kind of women are like, oh, where are all the good guys at, you know? The good guys, I'm sorry, you know, there might be a lot of, they might, you might think, oh, they're average looking or whatever, you know, but they might be somebody who's solid. Do you want to go, a lot of these, these women want to go for these, these a-holes and whatever, these jerks and these pieces of crap douchebags, and they want to blame guys that are solid and steady and stable. It's because they may not look as good as this person does or whatever, you know? Well, some of you women, I'm sorry. You're not all that like you think you are, and I don't care how good you look, I'm not throwing my money away on you, okay? I'm not a simp, alright? Some people hate that term, but I'm not whatever, okay? I know my value as a man, I know my worth, and I've turned down, I've turned down hot chicks before. I'm just like, I'm like, you know, because I was fixated on, on this one woman. You know, somebody I actually wanted to be with. And these women just couldn't get that. And there are guys out there that actually want, are committed and dedicated. And there are women like this too. You know? Let's not lump each other together, but let's be aware at the same time. Alright? I just wanted to rant about that. I know it's not a new thing. You know, other people rant about it. A lot of people are going to hate me for this or whatever. I'm just like, you know what? Fair is fair. Let's be fair. Your gender doesn't give you the right to be entitled to get away with stuff that the other gender can't get away with. Okay? If you don't want men coming after you and lusting after you women, ladies, well, you aren't ladies if you're like these women that I'm talking about. If you don't want men after you, Stop trying to get male attention by making your your booties or butts bigger, keeping it clean, or your boobs bigger or whatever, and, and making these teasing like, faces at them, shaking it at them, you know, getting that money, even though you're never going to let them have it in real life. Oh, we harassed you. And they're like, why are you guys doing this? Why are men like that? Oh. You ever hear of Law of Attraction? Sexual attraction? Seriously. Are you not taught biology in school? I mean, 
Even when I was a kid, I never, I never trusted women. I never trusted my mom or my two sisters. I just like, I don't trust women. I just knew, you know. But not all women are bad. There are some women, very rare, that are trustworthy. Very rare. The Bible says in Ecclesiastes, a good man and a thousand I have found, but a good woman I have not found. But, you know, there are good women out there. Women that are... And a lot of people may think this is arrogant of me, but I say, you know, only a good, noble woman is worthy of having me. And I don't care how she looks physically, because looks can change. Women with booties and boobs and whatever like that are all over the map, folks. Come on, guys. You, come on, men. Step it up. I recommend watching um, Joker's videos, Better Bachelor Guys. You know? Like I said, I don't hate women. But come on, you got to have more self-respect in this, guys, than to throw your money away on women that will never let you have them. Because you don't, you're not a Chad or a Brad or a Chippendales dancer or whatever, you know. And, that's, and like I said, not all women are like this. They're not. There's some good women that will appreciate you. They're just very hard to find. You know, and you guys that want to pump and dump, like I said, you're just reinforcing that stereotype that all guys are crap. So let's stop the crap. You know, be accountable for your crap. These women need to be accountable for their crap and just, just straighten up and act like adults instead of just looking like we're adults. Y'all stay blessed, stay safe, stay healthy, stay at peace, stay real. And in the name of Christ, peace out. Thank you for watching. Amen.